In a big step towards making India an aviation superpower in the coming few years, the Ministry of Defence has received bids from seven Indian companies to co-develop and manufacture next-generation fighter jets called the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft or AMCA. This marks a major milestone in India's push for indigenous fifth-generation air power with top defence manufacturers vying for a share of the landmark contract. This program could give the Indian private industry the experience of producing a fifth-generation aircraft. Among the bidders are Larsen and Tubro, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, Adani Defence, Tata Advanced Systems Limited, and Kalyani Strategic Systems, according to sources familiar with the matter. The submissions will be evaluated by a high-value committee chaired by former DRDO missile scientist A. Sivathanu Pillai, which will assess both technical and commercial aspects before making its recommendations. This is India's largest ever military R&D initiative, structured as a competitive model that pits private sector firms against established public entities. In June, the Aeronautical Development Agency issued an expression of interest to shortlist Indian companies capable of absorbing the AMCA design and delivering a production-ready fighter within eight years. An initial budget of 15,000 crore rupees has been earmarked for prototype development with the final contract expected to be worth several lakh crore rupees. Bidders must demonstrate robust capabilities in design assimilation, engineering, manufacturing, systems integration and flight testing. The AMCA is envisioned as a stealthy, AI-integrated, fifth-generation fighter platform that will anchor the Indian Air Force's combat fleet by the mid-2030s. The first batch will likely comprise of 120 aircraft, as per some reports, with deliveries beginning around 2035. As newer variants emerge, the total order size is expected to grow substantially. Key features of the jet include advanced stealth shaping, long-range precision targeting, and manned-unmanned teaming capabilities. The program will begin with the production of four to five prototypes, which will undergo rigorous testing and validation before full-scale manufacturing begins.